Okay, so creating a playlist in Purpose Games. It can be kind of confusing at first, so I wanted to show you a little trick. So let's say that you have a group of games you want to make a playlist. Like you have a semester test and the kids need to study these five Purpose Games for that test. Um, go into your Create tab and click Create Playlist and give your playlist a title. So let's say semester exam oh, playlist and I'm just gonna I always leave mine public because I don't care if anyone sees it. Then you would pick your subject, tag it if you want to and then click here. So once you're here you have to find your games. And this is one thing I don't like about purpose games. I wish they would make this easier because let's say that um, on this playlist I want to put my plant cell game that I just made. So I type in plant cell organelles and I hit find game and oh my god every science teacher in the world has made one about plant cell organelles. So it's hard to find yours. Um, a trick I use is I will um, open up another tab and I will go to purpose games again I'm still logged in and I go to click my name and then I go to my individual games and I'll just find the games I want like I want this one and I go in here and I copy the name exactly so I'll control copy and I go back to my little search box here and I'll put a quotation mark control V I misspelled organelles anyway control V paste it and then I'll put it put it in quotes and it's going to search for just that title and it goes straight to my game. So you can limit them down by, you know, opening up another tab, copying the exact name and putting them in the quotations. Then you click add to the list and see it goes back semester exam playlist. And then you would keep adding games. Like, let's say I went back to my games and I say I want to add the animal cell, this one. So I would copy that, right click, copy, then go here, right click, paste, add quotes, and see it goes straight to mine. So I would add that to the list. So I would create my playlist, but you're not finished. Here's another thing that's kind of weird about it. Remember, you have to publish something before people can see it on the internet. When you get through with um, building your playlist there's no publish button right here so it's weird you got to go back to your name go to playlists and see there it is and it's unpublished so you have to click publish here before people can see it I'm not going to publish this one because it's I just made it up but anyway you've got to make sure that you publish it before people can see it online and once you get through with that um, you know you're pretty much done remember you can make your kids have logins and you can you know assign them playlists and games or you can do what I do I just create the games and I email my kids the link if you use your website a lot you could most definitely copy and paste the links to your games on your website um, you could share a Google Doc in a folder like if you share a folder with your kids through Google Drive you could have a folder that you share with them that's um, you know in your stuff and one of the documents in there could be links to the games that they can play there's tons of ways to share it with them so um, you know that's just limited to your imagination so I hope this is a pretty good tool and I hope that you guys can find